Hello, Valerie Shodine here, and today I am going to make these beautiful Celtic patterns with the Celtic spiral stencils using pan pastels and acrylic paints on my gel press. I'm using two gel presses here. The larger is 12 by 14 inch and then the 8 by 10. To start out, I'm going to warm up and use some Daniel Smith gold gesso to make a few papers to print on. Using a speedball brayer, I'm making as even a coat of paint as I can on this large gel press and using First Street brand sandwich wrap or deli paper to make a print to print on later. Now I haven't been able to find this deli paper online, but I'm sure any deli paper will work for this. Now I'm going to print on a heavier stock paper. It's just a printmaking paper I had in my studio. Not sure what kind, but it has a bit of texture on it, so I'll be reprinting that later. For this particular printing, I want a clean gel plate, so I'm just taking up extra wet paint I can, and now I'm cleaning off the gel press with a baby wipe. I'm going to use the 8x10 gel press here, which I kind of like it going off the edges. And I am using pan pastels. The ones on the right are some blues and greens from the shade set. The ones on the left are the rich gold and copper and bronze from the metallic set. And I really like these. They're very shimmery, even more so than what you see here in the film. These pan pastels blend so easily. They're just kind of like butter on there, even though they are a powder and they are not waterproof, but the paint will seal it. So that's one thing I love about using the pan pastels with the gel press and acrylic medium, like matte medium, or acrylic paint. Okay, now I'm going to add some matte medium. Once I've lifted the stencil off, I'm using Golden Brand here, but you can use any brand that you like and I'm just putting a thin coat on and now I'm going to press as you see with the gold deli paper and see how that lifts off. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to try it one more time and see how this will work with another thin coat working very fast and pressing it onto the textured art paper I found in my studio. So it had been printed with the gold gesso. I need to wait a little bit there, that looks great. Now I'm going to see if I can get one more print out of this with some Liquitex gold paint and see how I put the gold, kind of a gold on gold. I guess it will be very bright gold, but that's kind of what I want to see if I can make another type of print. There, that works too. Nice. So I got three prints out of that. Okay, now to clean the plate. It really kind of gets stuck on there at this point. And I'm using avocado oil because I don't have any baby oil, but I am still going to clean it up then with baby wipes. Here are the prints I did with this. And now I am going to cut this mask up into individual masks and so I can use them for all sorts of things, even on round gel presses, and basically have the freedom to arrange them in an arrangement I like. I will also be using a full stencil of this in addition to these in just a few minutes later in this video. The tacky nature of the gel press makes the stencils and masks stick really well and so it's very easy to go in with the pan pastels and just rub the pigment around. Now I'm carefully taking off every little mask and painting with Golden Fluid Acrylics, Payne's Gray, Sap Green, and Phthalo Turquoise. Okay. 
Oh, nice contrast and oh, so shimmery. Now for the big stencil I've been waiting for. I'm using two of the Celtic masks and one you can see is the cut up one I used earlier. So now I'm arranging it on my plate and adding the pan pastels as I did before. I apologize for the film going a bit off the screen there, but you get the idea since you've seen me do it before. I'm loving these metallic pan pastels. They are so shimmery. Once again, removing all of the little masks and the big ones and painting with the same three colors, the phthalo turquoise, sap green, and Payne's gray, and making a thin coat. You can see how I can still see through it. Now I'm printing on the paper I found in my studio. It, oh my goodness, look at that. I think that's my favorite one. Now to try just acrylics. I've put my stencils down, didn't make you watch that again, and now I am just painting over it with acrylics, taking a simple print on the deli paper and lifting it up, taking off the stencils one by one. I'll be washing these soon after I do the print. And one of the prints I painted the gold on, I put that down and look, wow. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and for more inspiration, visit my website at ValerieShodine.com. Blessings to you as you create.